ISP is excited to announce its second annual Images of Distinction competition. And I have past PPA President Gregory Daniel here with me this morning. Good morning, sir. Good morning. How are you today? Good. I'm absolutely fabulous. Hey, could you tell me a little bit about your business? We service a really great, incredible group of clients down here in the Florida area and then somewhat out, outside that arena. And we provide these incredible pieces of art for them, for their beautiful homes all up and down the coast. So you're mostly a portrait artist. That's your yeah, portrait. Important. And I notice you do an awful lot of art with your portraits as well. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Mixed media, kind of embellished reproduction, kind of mixed media out of the art world. Okay. Hey, um, t do you remember your first merit or loan, uh, now called imaging, imaging excellence, but loan print? I do. Okay. So photographically, uh, well, my first merit ever, um, uh, my, you know, so for the master's degree in the service merits as well, my very first merit was taking a class with Bud Haynes and Tom McDonald, which was the best business class, the best merit in the world. And it is what started mentorship uh, with, with uh, Tom McDonald, my incredible mentor, and, uh, and just a relationship with PPA and with photography that uh, I could not ever be as successful as I've been, I don't think, that, without that. The, the next merit was not too far after, after that, and uh, it was on a high-key a background of a little girl and it was it was fun and and just blew my mind to actually get a merit from it isn't it amazing that first one and then you think about how far you've come hey how, what 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 made you think about becoming a judge well in the early 90s so i started the business back in 1979 uh started doing competing and that sort of thing uh, around the early 80s and uh it was about 1992. Uh, Tim Kelly and myself and a couple of others went up to Winona School to uh, learn how to be a judge and uh, went to the judges workshop, the judges program, which was an absolutely fantastic uh, place to do that with a lot of really cool folks that we uh, experienced that with. So in the early 90s, I, I decided to do that. And it was it started off being more of an educational piece and learning from the other jurors that were there, uh, Don Boothsafe and some others that came in to visit us in the class, it was just an absolute uh, mind boggling and incredible memory. And uh, I, I just, I loved the whole process. I loved uh, what it helped others through education, helped others become much better uh, in their craft. And so I've just worked towards that through this all those years. And, and loved being a juror to help others achieve their goals. Cool. Um, if you could pick one element other than impact, what would be the one that would jump into your head right away? A color harmony is, is a very, very impactful uh, element in and of itself. I mean, lots of them carry so much more, you know, impacts, like you say, is woven through all of the different elements, it seems like. like I mean, when I see a beautifully color harmonizing image uh, and it just has a, a beautiful impact on my heart and my soul. So that storytelling is a fantastic one. That, man, we only asked for one. Okay, okay, <laughs> okay. So color harmony is probably a very, a very beautiful stylistic kind of feel. So. Okay, final question for you. Um, if you what, what advice would you have for new makers coming on or even older makers in doing well in image competition? I think the biggest thing that helped me uh, was to listen, was to actually, you know, <laughs> take in everyone's opinion, to listen to all the jurors, to lish, listen intently uh, and try to learn from all the words that they're saying. You know, not parse them out, but actually listen to each juror, listen to those comments and soak them in, write them down uh, and then try to move forward from that. Because, I mean, everyone has this little viewpoint, this little uh, imagery in their head on how they see things, their paradigms that they, they look through. And that once you can actually spread your paradigm out through some of the comments that you get back from the jurors, I think that just makes you better, uh, a better competitor, a better a photographer, it helps you with your clients, it helps you with your artistry, 
uh, and the way you can express yourself. So yeah, just listen. Sweet. Thanks for taking the time to talk to us, Gregory, and look forward to seeing you at ASPIOD. All right. We'll see you there. Mark your calendars now and get ready for the ASP Images of Distinction.